The iPhone 14 is now out. We've got it and here's what it's like. So stay tuned as we answer that age old question. Should you be upgrading? iPhone 14. iPhone 14. Imagine having a brand new shiny iPhone 14 phone in the palm of your hand. Sounds great, right? But... Ow. But <laughs> is it actually worth it? You know, I wish someone would upgrade you. Just wait to the rapture. So, so let's go. Carrie and Berry. Good morning, Carrie, Carrie and Berry. I'm Carrie. I'm Berry. Oh. And this is Ooh, where is it? The iPhone 14 iPhone. So unfortunately, um, my phone completely died. Tragic death. Dead Zito. So knowing the iPhone 14 was coming out, I decided to be nice and surprise her and give her my old iPhone 13. He decided to buy a brand new phone for himself. I've got his second hand phone. Good look. Which is the iPhone 13. So me and Carrie's sister Lisa jetted off to Bath to go and pick up the iPhone 14 on launch day. Unboxing is so easy these days. Pull the tab. Let the phone drop out. Out. So the camera bump was big before, but now it's huge! You know, to a degree, I kind of love it. Feels like I'm holding a really powerful camera in my hand. That being said, it's causing a lot of issues when I go out to a restaurant or places. I put my phone down, it rocks like nothing else. I mean, it's the party rocker in the house But you don't want to be doing it all the time now, do you? Because... Uh... Uh... Brightness! <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something. The moment I walked into the Apple store, I thought, what on earth is that? Because I didn't think that was an iPhone because it was so bright. It caught my attention straight away. Colours pop, details shine. The photos you use on that fancy new lock screen look unbelievable. It's not believable that that is off. You would not believe that that is off, would you? The phone is not on. This is on, hold on. See? It's also major confusing. The amount of times I've tried to turn it off, only to turn it on, it's a bit intrusive actually. Sometimes I like want to keep my photos a bit more, bit more private when I'm walking through public. It's like you're so. older, you should keep what? private. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> Who says that on a vlog? <laughs> it's a vlog. There's no always on settings. It's either on or oh. it's off. It's a huge I've got an iPhone 14 statement. Imagine a permanently on lock screen showing the delightful snapshot of Alison Beebe mopping her floor at the voluntary job that she worked for. Delightful. Just delightful. One of the wonders of the world, but. <laughs> Action mode. Built into the camera, so now everything's that. A bit more smoother when you're running. You're right. Rude. <laughs> Latte. Oh, that's yeah. Good. <laughs> that's true, actually. Look right. what good that is. <laughs> Photos and videos taken with the new iPhone 14. Are just amazing. Two times Zoom has returned. The feel of the phone, the look of the actual phone, the Gret Singer, is exactly the same as it was before. <laughs> but, uh, but it still feels nice, I don't know. Dynamic Island is a gimmick to cover up that notch. But a beautiful gimmick nonetheless. You know, it's the little things that the island shows that just add a certain something to your iPhone. An example, having moving wave lines up there to show your audio when listening to it. Timer indicator and phone calls show up to Battery alerts, shortcut action, map indicator, and third party apps are beginning to get in the uh, in the groove of it too. But, you know, it's a bit like a notification center, only uh, now we've got two places for notifications to show up. It is confusing which show up where and why. The ability to tap it and pop back into an app is fantastical. It's fun, but the mad thing is, the actual usable pixels up there are very small. Somehow it's given the phone a whole new look. And experience. The speed of the phone. It feels significantly faster and smoother, which is shocking. Will you stop doing that, please? Which is shocking because it's not really supposed to have much of a speed boost at all, this phone, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, my old phone suddenly feels old. I, I thought we'd reached peak speed before. Now it just flows with your fingers. Mind you, you'll be saying that with the new iPhone 15 next year. I won't go telling Matt Hill about this speed boost. He goes fast enough as it is. I'm not sure if this is because my old phone got a load of junk in it, which it quite possibly is, but the microphone is uh, massively better. The difference is huge between my 13 and my 14. Personally, I feel like I've got an external mic, although I'd never m forsake my mini mobile, what for it's called. No way. So, you know, there ain't much better than a good quality microphone. Good old Mike, Michael, good old Michael. Mike. <laughs> 
battery. We've done no technical tests, but the battery is amazing. We found the battery lasts all day on the iPhone 14. Must be great battery. You really sound like one of these people from the I Apple presentation, don't you? <laughs> we find the phone. Oh, that's Liam, that data. Liam, David Attenborough. Time. Usually by about lunchtime, I'm pretty convinced that I was on about 60 to 70%. Now, even with the always on display, I'm probably at about 75% battery by this point. And this is even for me, for somebody who uses the iPhone as basically a 24 seven radio, practically. I, I ain't joking, I've always got it playing. And always taking photos. It may be partly because this phone is the Max and my other phone was the regular size, maybe, I don't know, but. The downside of this phone, I find, it it's way too big to put in your pocket. Yeah, it is. Although it's as big as the iPhone 13 Max, so, you know. The speaker is so good that I find it's way too loud for me, especially when Barry's playing his music. Of course, it still does not replace an external speaker. We feel that the speaker should be on the front of the glass of the phone. Case is beautiful, but not quite my colour, so I'm going to return it and get a different one. It's a heck of a lot stronger than the Apple Silicon one. So compared to my last phone, which was the regular size one, I can actually type on it properly. I'd forgotten what a full-fledged typing it's is like on a, on a phone. Colour of the phone, it's a deep purple. Often, ooh. Really? Ooh. Often mistaken for black. We want to know why they don't have more fun colours. Have they not got any? For the pro, that's it, that's the fun colour. So, what do you think of the iPhone 14? Yes, okay. I think it's pretty good actually. It's a bit like the iPhone 13, just better. Our advice is, if you don't need a new phone, then don't buy this one. So here is the new iPhone. As we always say, tech is great, but don't let it take over your life. And if you can value those around you more than the tech itself, we'd say you're doing life right. No drinking here the whole time we were filming. Really? I had nothing in it. Carry. The secret revealed. No one's gonna trust us, they're gonna think we're a fraud. A great prop. Well, as long as no one from Apple heard us, then uh, otherwise we'd have no chance. Good morning. Tim! Now, for me and my iPhone 14 to spend a bit of quality time together. Oh, uh, and God bless you all. All.